guys, welcome back to GDPG. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to GDPG. Hey guys, wow. welcome. Okay. Mm, hey guys, okay. welcome back to GDPG. You know, I can sense the ancient. Tongue. Jeez, you know? calm down. Oh, I think this is the way out. <laughs> Siri's like, hey. So Edna, listen. Hey, listen. I, I, don't, I don't think we've talked about this, but Edna's field battle or field ability, sport talent, um, is she has money finding. Oh, she's proficiency nine. And so basically, we randomly will get money. Get money, which is finds. great. And normally, when I was playing this in my personal place, so I'll serve she, ice cream. Ugh. Yeah, who, who would put that in a tray? Like, why? <laughs> um, but when I was playing in my personal playthrough, she was just finding like 20, 30, or, or sometimes 50 gold. Um, and suddenly now for us, she's getting like 500. And while that's still not like a ton, it's like it's great. this actually usable. Shit. That's a post. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Chris, I have a, I have a theory right now. Oh? We're we about to save. fight a boss. I believe so, and that's why we're going to save. <laughs> I, I, I just have these sneaky suspicions when you're in a hallway with a door. Wait, no, and... hold on. We didn't well, the hear save point is really what does it. Yeah. That or auto-saving in other games. Yeah, auto-saving. Oh, yeah. Or oh, yeah. anytime in Zelda. Oh, nothing happened. Oh, God. Is that Edna? No. I don't think so. Is that insert other anime girl here? <laughs> it's very anime. Is it the Joker? That's or what Harley I was Quinn? thinking. Or <laughs> or a fuck? fucking golden knight with a high pitched voice. Cool, let's do this, and I'm Mikleo now. I'm running away. <laughs> you, you, you guys got this. Here. Well, uh, it's cool. It's cool. I think oh, I can okay, now I'm back to. Uh, the, I think so much uh, armatized. I feel what her name is. Just. No, I'm still my kid. Push the D-pad. I think you can change yourself. Also, I really need some healing. Oh my goodness. Dude, just about like a gotta be like Alicia. Do better. Oh better. Boom. Thanks, bro. No problem, bro. Whoa. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh, all oh. thanks to Alicia. Canceled that shit. So one of these days, I'm yeah. sure we'll figure out a better battle yeah. flow. It's actually a lot easier playing in single player, I think, to like yeah. get really a battle get a flow. flow. I'm trying well, to understand. Switching characters, and I can't. Dude, we're like, I feel like we're not doing anything to him, and it's so... Well, as a boss, he's going to have a lot of health. I'm doing 12. It looks like I'm doing 12. Okay, I'm each stuck as my Cleo. You Whatever. might be... So what's his element? His weakness is... Arts. <laughs> oh, maybe that's what it is. Arts and what? Earth. And then his resistance is air. Um, so I wonder if Alicia's attacks are... No, her attacks would probably just be arts, right? Yeah, because I my arts gauge is, like, done. Oh boy, oh, oh, I'm advertising. Pow, 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 pow. Sorry, Kujo. I'm still making Leo. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. That's confusing. Wait. I think you can switch my character. Yeah, I just figured you were your second player, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I figured you were always my companion. I don't know how I think happened. when three players are playing... And there's only three people on the field, that's the case. But since we're at four now, oh, so Pai becomes You're healed. the next playable character. Interesting. Now, if there's four of us playing, then yeah, Kujo would just be stuck inside of you going for a ride. Huh. That's quickly, actually kind of cool. Quickly. Okay. Oh, oh, How do you defend? I see you guys all defending. Uh, X. Oh, okay. That's, <laughs> that's pretty important to know, Tony. That's how you recover your SP. Hey, we're like, oh, how you recover SP? Oh, oh. I, I did hear a story about somebody who played through the entirety of Fallout 3 not knowing about bats. What? Yep. I mean, that's kind of easy to do, but, like, bats becomes oh, God. really useful. Like, super useful. Oh, God. 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 Kill yourself, buddy. We'll take this guy out to lunch. Yeah, because he looks hungry. You better call somebody. Oh, boy. Time. Quickly. I feel like all my demon things are missing. Maybe they're not. Should we set you to semi-auto, then? No, no. <laughs> uh, oh. No, no, they're hitting. It's just hard to see because like you're attacking at the same time. Oh, that's fair. You don't. Oh, I. I'm gonna heal myself. I'm already working on it. Way ahead of you. Boom. Oh, uh, I died. Heal. How Shit. did I die? Oh, but we won. <laughs> what? So this is really what's going on here. Remember, I said that there were other kind of seraphim that were really like not seraphim, but they're still called seraphim. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, sorry. 
Oh, oh, he's just saying his name, right? What a fool I was. I should have realized so you would be here at <laughs> oh, I like this dumbfounded look at both of your faces. That's cold, Lila. Oh, you never were a lick of fun. I don't know, man. If someone called you pretty and ran at you, wouldn't you be like, whoa, <laughs> calm down? You'd probably die, hump her leg. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Of course his name's Attack, That's sure. A weird name. <laughs> Aren't you rude? Yeah, Nicleo's the dick. We've already established this attack. Pedigree. Means I'm fancy. So, okay, so basically the point of these guys is that they all, there are multiple Norman in this game, and they each represent a skill that can be found on equipment. And we can and find he's them. Attack. Oh my God. And he's attack. Yes, I know, it's stupid. And we can find them and have them work with the Lord of the Land. To increase the chance of finding equipment that have those skills on them. How? So they're technically seraphim, but they're like uh, seraphim like servants. Oh. Slaves? Kind of, except they seem pretty willing, so. Willing slaves? I guess. Oh, Jesus. You also notice that the little thing on Edna's umbrella is a Norman. Is a Norman. Except yeah. it's not a real Norman, it's like a plush. Plush one. Lila's explanations can be pretty this is too much for you? How do you go from having a story about the land being taken over by monsters because there's no shepherd, and it's a really big fucking deal that you're the shepherd, and you're making these decisions that impact the land, to this? Because kawaii. 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 Ka kawaii. 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 What's kawaii? Japanese kawaii. for cute. Basically. I. Well, that should be my nickname then. Oh, ho, ho. Tony, you're not very kawaii. <laughs> yeah, no, I. It's. It seems a little too much, but it, uh, I guess sort of to defend the game. <sighs> Most of the other Tales games have something like this. What did Symphonia have? Even even, um, even uh, Final Fantasy has the Moguls. 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 But, but, but. Kupo! Yes. Moguls were never... Other than Final Fantasy VI, where one was a playable character. Well, that's cool. Moogles were never a, an excuse for a basically a dungeon crawl to be the final boss that turned into something cutesy and annoying. That's a very specific comment. I, it is, but this is... I, well, they sort of rationalize why we went through this in a little bit. I, I don't know if we'll see it this episode. But we saved him from being a... We purified him from being a Hellion, and he's gonna help us later. Remember that Drake we encountered? He's basically our source of power to fight it. Okay. It still is kind of silly, right? But Yeah. So are there as well as it was something to sort of be expected because it's a Jerry. Do we have to keep talking to him until he walks all the way out? Yeah, he's basically explaining why he became a Hellion. Or uh, he's like going through the steps and being like, I, I'm so upset that this is happening to all this precious artwork because, sure you know, he was pissed off that people were trying to throw out all this stuff no. or burn it or whatever they were doing. Um, and he's kind of going through and trying to like remember what exactly brought him to this point until he remembers that that's why he was pissed off and that's why he turned into a hellion. Got to whittle my days away just people watching and gazing at fine art. I wasn't worshipped or nothing, but I weren't lonely neither. So we learn a little bit about him. I think he's really the only um, what are they called again? Seraphim? No, now I've got Moogle in my Norman? head. Norman. 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 I kept wanting Newman. to say Moogle, and I was like, Newman. that's not right. <laughs> but hes I think he's really the only Norman that we get to know. Most of the other ones we find are just like randomly hanging out. And, well, like, hey, I'm a Norman! Well, see, that's the thing. The only game in Final Fantasy that had a Moogle as a big thing was 6. Everything else 
that is just what they were. They were just sort of there. Yeah, yeah. They were sort of being... It well, was it's a trope that was nine, they're important, too. I mean, they don't, they're not... They're just sort of there as well, but they have some story elements. I guess, is my, my question to you, Kujo, is, is does it upset you because you came into this game expecting this really, like, deep and intense story and this to very point, much because, contrast because said. the only other tales games that i played were symphonia mm -hmm. which i never fully beat but still it had, a, it had it had very heavy moments and the only real comedic timing moments were in those small little conversations like on the world map or whatever for me for from the, what i remember for the most part i agree they did have cutesy silly moments like yes, this though but it wasn't this much I don't know. I don't remember. To I be don't, honest, I don't remember. I don't think they ever had like as large of a scene dedicated to it. I but they, they had the plenty of cutesy like creatures that were like, Hey, we're part of this world too. I think they had something with yeah, cats. I always loved Master Chef. But it's the same thing with Tales of Vesperia Wonder Chef. as well. Tales of Vesperia had kind of comedic timed moments and stuff like that. But overall, there was a really interesting story that was a little dark and a little deep. So... <laughs> I so, guess it just feels like such a departure from that a little bit. I guess and it's, like, and I, that's sort of something that's kind of been dawning on me a little bit, mm. you know, with so far playing through this game, is that it doesn't seem like... Like, we have this sort of idea that Lila could end up being, like, betraying you or something like that. Or it's just the writing. You know? Like, we're, we're saying, like, oh, she's saying all these things because maybe, maybe she's going to turn on you or maybe she's got some ulterior motive. What if it's just the weird writing? And honestly, it could be. I, I actually still don't know whether or not she's going to betray us. Or I think there'll be a turning point, though. There's going. It's going to. There's get always going to be a yeah. twist, and that'll be great. But even like okay, the twist thing is in a lot of different games. Final Fantasy is a big proprietor of that as well. Final Fantasy VI is one of my favorites because of its twist. Mm -hmm. It's the idea that the villain wins halfway through the game, and you're spending the rest of the game in a dilapidated, destroyed world, and it's, it was dramatically amazing. It was a really cool element to introduce to a story. But f even though that is like the twist, everything in the first half of the game still is really compelling in terms of a story and in terms of remaining sort of serious and dark in its tone. Yeah. So, so far, there have been a couple of moments, like the assassins showing up in the uh, meeting um, when you you first do the, the armatization with Edna and you bring, bring the bridge up where you're like, oh god, these people aren't such a big fan of me anymore. There have been only a handful of moments where I felt like the gravity of the situation or of the story a lot less than any other Tales game I've played. So I guess really what it seems like bothers me the most is that it doesn't feel like the ends are going to justify the means. It feels like they're two separate directions. Exactly. Okay, understood. Okay, I, I think I kind of agree with that, actually. I do think that some of the other Tales games were just as, if not sillier than this. Oh, yeah. But maybe it also comes with the fact that this is a low fantasy setting. Maybe the expectation is that it was would be a little bit more serious because of that. Yeah, I mean, especially with the it, with the intro cutscene, it's talking about the world falling apart, mm -hmm. and the only way for this world to stay together is having that shepherd there to lead them forward into a time when or a world where everything's not falling to shit. Anyway, I'm sure we can find out more. Well, yeah. so let's let's make that the question of the day. Yeah. Um, do you do you agree with with Cujo or do you think that you know the silliness is doesn't break continuity of of the game? Yeah. Um, but I I'm really curious to see what you guys think too. Yeah, so. so like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below <laughs> with your answer. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Bye. See you in the archives. Uh -huh. Oh, you're gonna pull her above me. Look at how bright this is being. Look at the bunny. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>